guest um, today is Barack. Um, and I wanted to discuss two parts of it. Um, as you may have seen on the banner, Barack means to bow before the Lord. Um, and the Hebrew word Barak is actually a verb. Um, another meaning of it is to bless. And that stems from the word Baraka, which means blessing. Um, and according to Strong and Young's Concordance, Barak also means, there's more ways that you can define it, to declare blessed, to kneel, to bless God as an act of adoration, and um, man is obviously a benefit from that. Um, when it comes to blessing, um, it was labeled as a benediction of divine blessing. So I wanted to again split um, the definition as it being um, a blessing and us kneeling, it involves the action and it is um, an act in itself, so a noun, um, into two parts. So basically we're going into the real meaning of the word, word meaning, while we're worshiping, we're giving of ourselves to God, um, bringing a gift unto Him while we're giving God respect. Um, so I did want to reference one of the blessings of Abraham. Um, as we know, he was very blessed as the father of our faith. And I'm going to read just a couple of scriptures from Genesis, the 12th chapter, the first couple of verses. Now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, into a land that I will shew thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless him that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So we can definitely see the word, um, Barak being translated into the word blessed is used a lot in those three verses. Um, and for me in my life, I can always see um, blessings are there twofold. Um, while God has already done so much for us, um, He blesses us even more when we bow down and worship Him. Like the song says, when praises go up, blessings go come down. Um, then I wanted to move in just to talk a little bit about the act of Barak when we kneel down before the Lord, um, referencing Psalm 95 and 6, O come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. And also um, in Philippians where the scripture says that the name of Jesus that we read, must bow. Um, so bowing before the Lord, we do always reference it as it's a um, act of humbleness. But I did want, I seen an interesting connection between the knee and the word blessing while I was researching more into the word itself. So I did want to touch on that because um, it's an interesting connection. It's obviously something God wants us to do when um, we are worshiping him so he can bless us. But the knee supports the whole way of the body and blessings are things that support us and encourage us. The knee is a pivotal hinge joint which provides the body with flexibility and stability. And blessings give us greater mobility, flexibility, and stability in living. Um, the knee is the largest joint in the body and for us as children of God, blessings and being blessed are a large part of our life in Him. Um, so again, I thought there was a, a strong correlation between the between the needs and blessings because it is the act. Um, so another part of that definition, when we're on our knees, we're kneeling. And one purpose of the knee is to kneel, obviously. Um, so kneeling is resting our weight on our knees. When the weight of our life is resting upon our submission to Him, we are in that position to be blessed. Um, another interesting connection between blessings and kneeling even though it's not specifically talking about um, the word Barak, Genesis 24 and 11 talks about one of Abraham's servants having one of his camels to kneel down. But the reference of the camel I thought was interesting too, just because camels back in those times, the biblical times, that was their mode of transportation. They um, put a whole bunch of their goods on the camels so that they could take them to and fro. Um, but a camel is kneeling down so that it can receive the goods so it can take it somewhere else to unload them, which is 
kind of what we get out of black and God, because it is an act of worship, but while we're kneeling before him, giving him worship, he's blessing us at the same time. Um, so again, kneeling is symbolic of humility and submission. And another verse for that, 1 Peter 5 and 6, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Our pastors always state that um, God doesn't just bless you to just sit here and just talk about how we'll just keep it to yourself, but he blesses us so that we can bless someone else. And Matthew 10 and 8 says, you have freely you have received, so you should also freely give. So in blessing, um, while we're worshiping God, he's blessing us so that we can bless other people. And that's it. Thank you.